If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs Mystery Box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football-themed break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, Every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, Every live break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. Good evening. Welcome to the UA Live Break Studio. Tuesday night action here with myself and Matt Bohannon. Matt, what's going on? How are you, sir? I'm doing well here. How are you? I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. It's, a, it's a lovely Tuesday. A little bit hot for my liking. It's like mid-80s, but it's a, it's a dry heat. Like very for, those, for those in AZ, they know all about the, the dry heat. Uh, we've got uh, currently White Sox Twins right now. Top three. Sox up 2-1. Uh, we have game six on. Uh, it might be tip off. Might be coming up here in the next ten minutes. Bucks up three two. Um, could the Bucks get themselves a championship since, for the first time since I want to say nineteen seventy seven? I think I want to say seventy five, seventy one. Back when they had Will. Uh, it's not Will Strickland. <laughs> Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Um, so I have a lot of friends who are big Bucks fans. Go, uh, going to school up in Wisconsin. Uh, definitely uh, Bucks Nation. I uh, I will be leaning towards the Bucks tonight. I think I, uh, uh, as a Bulls fan, it's a little bit maybe uh, backwards, but I, I want to see Giannis get himself a ring. I think yeah. I think I think that whole team has been working really hard, super underdogs the entire season. Um, but you know what? I wouldn't be upset if there was a game seven. I like the Suns too, but uh, it would be really exciting for the Bucks to get it done at home. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would say tend to, I would probably be leaning the same way. Um, my sister went to school at Marquette, so she's up there now as well. Yep. So she's trying to take it all in, too. So. It's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. It's so. pretty exciting stuff. We will uh, update you uh, for, uh, we'll update you game six scores throughout the, the night. I'll make sure to have it on uh, while we're breaking some boxes. First thing we're going to do is our dice roll, and I'm going to show off our Dutch auction. Deserves a ring more than Giannis. 
Uh, so I would say that is probably correct. At this point in their careers, Chris Paul does deserve a ring more than Giannis does. But, uh... What's up, Joe? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I would love to see CP3 get a ring. I'd love to see Giannis get a ring. Um, I don't know what his name is, but there's one player who plays for the Suns who will get a ring no matter who wins. So, uh, good yeah, for him. Right. Yeah, so he started the year on the Bucks, was then traded to the Suns. So, uh, I guess you play a minimum amount of games, you're on the roster for a minimum amount of games, you automatically get a ring. I don't know how that works in any any league at all. I don't know how any of that works. That's interesting. So, yeah. Uh, he plays, like, shooting guard or small forward. He's, like, their sixth or seventh man on the Suns. Tory Craig. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Tory Craig will get himself a ring no matter who wins. Uh, which I don't know how you feel. If the Bucks get it done tonight, you're going to get a ring. But do you, like, feel good? I don't know. Joe, are you watching? Are you watching the you gonna watch the game? My boy Joe's from uh, Door County, Wisconsin. Oh nice, very nice. So Beautiful he's up there. Big Packer fan and Unfortunate. He's near the end. Freak is the beginning, rooting for Steve Three. Fair enough. Fair enough. I I I don't know. I don't know. Cause like will, will the Bucks be able to get come back? Like get back into the Like will like, if the Bucks don't win it, will they be able to go back to the finals? Um, I don't know. Because, like, yes. I don't know. Everything is everything is up in the air. Anyway. I think everyone should get a ring. I think everyone deserves a ring. Why not? I don't know. I mean, the, the Eastern Conference will probably get better. And the Western Conference is stacked no matter what. I mean, if there wasn't for injuries, it would probably be Bucks lakers right now. Yeah, <laughs> to I mean, be honest, I like I like this kind of a series because it's two teams that play basketball hard. They're this is one of the most challenging and just gritty and grinding series that we I've, I've seen in a while. Yeah, I watched Game Four um, last week and just it was a great game. Bucks played well. They were down all game and fought back and won at the end. It's just a fun series to watch. Oh, that's actually a great point. <laughs> that's a good point, Bob. That's right. If it wasn't for it, it would probably be Nets Lakers. That's right. And like the Nets are going to be the front runner runner in the East for at least another two or three years. I don't know what the contract situation is for anybody. Um, and like the Lakers are still going to be good because they're probably going to get somebody like maybe Dame Dollar or maybe like a true point guard. Who? Uh, Damian Lillard. They're going where? He might be going to the Lakers. That's why I've been reading a lot of stuff, like, because he wants out. Although they just got Chauncey Billups, so I don't know. I, I'm not sure. He, I mean, I think Dame Dollar deserves a win ring, too. So which Suns won it with Nash and Sotomayor. That would have been great. That would have been a great. One of many teams that deserve to get a ring. Um, ooh, Dame Dollar and MSG would be very nice. I don't know. I, I, Dame might be on the move. There's a lot of players that are going to be in the move, so... Uh, Oh, yeah. Get past him. That's a double. All right. Let's go uh, dice roll here. Dice roll rule state. Got to be a six or greater. Oh. Oh. That's a seven. Seven on the dice roll. Uh, seven of the... Seven of the... Seven of the I think it'd be good for Milwaukee, though. I, I think Milwaukee's um, kind of one of those towns that gets forgotten about. Yeah. The Midwest. You're so close to Chicago. You kind of tend to forget about it. That's correct. Um, I think it'd be cool to see a championship there. I agree. Even though they're kind of, I guess, like you said, our rivals. I know, but it's like when the Bulls are trash. It's like you gotta <laughs> just like that's that's the team that I'm a fan of. But like, I just like to watch basketball in general. So it's like, and they're I'll so like good. Sit. They're so good. I will. Uh, yeah, and they're super good. Uh, can we change the the, the we double? Can. Yeah, we can. All right, we got ourselves a Kellen Winslow for our Dutch auction tonight. This is Kellen, uh, Kellen Winslow, uh, Pro Line replica. Biggest issue, as you can see, based on the tape, there's a little bit of a scratch right there. That's the biggest issue. Uh, auto looks fantastic, really dope. Throwback helmet there, and uh, it's going to be starting at hundred and eighty dollars. If you're interested in it, go check it out on our live break page, and it'll be going down in price throughout the evening. Hi, man. Oh, Dusty. Dusty, why are you not a fan of the NBA? 
Dusty is, uh, what he just stated, is a Mavs fan. So, uh, it's all rigged and fabricated. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, we got QB1 number one. He's uh, double box break. Let's get two box numbers in the chat, please. All right, Bob. Just posted the quad. It's all rigged and fabricated. I think a lot of sports are. Why not? When you put it in the hands of other human beings to make calls, everything can be everything can be uh, cheated or uh, manipulated in any way. But I th I would agree with Dusty. Like the NBA is like feels like the most rigged. Yeah, I would say I would I, say that. The only rigged. thing I'll say to that is I don't think people realize how difficult it is to ref a basketball game. Terrible. Until you've actually done it. I did it in college for like intramurals. And even at the intramural level, which is like means nothing in the grand scheme of things, it's super difficult. People get so into it and people get so emotional. It's not an easy it's Donnie and I had this debate the other day, it's like what's the hardest sport to, to ref? And I was like, a basketball has to be out there, man. Yeah. Because you, you have to make calls like on the spot and you have to be confident in that call and you can't second guess yourself. Right. And I think that's everyone's watching. There's so much pressure. The fans are on top of you. It's a difficult, difficult sport. Thanks, Johnny. Whereas, like in football, you throw the flag. Then you have a little bit of time to figure out what you were actually throwing the flag for. Right, and you can you can pick it up. You can't pick it up. You can think about what the call was. Think about what you saw. You can you can converse with your other. Yeah, like if somebody else saw it or... Yeah, what'd you see? I saw this. I don't know. I think hockey... I think hockey's probably the best officiating. Oh, get out, baseball. Get out if you'd like to. Get out! Yo-yo bomb. How much? Two-run shot. Two-run, nice. No way to go. Yo! 32 of 50! Hockey's, hockey, hockey's difficult, too. Hockey's... The physical... The physical... On in hockey's rough. Oh, baby. Back at COA. Nice little hit right here. Good way to start off the evening. We have ourselves a New Orleans Saint legend, future Hall of Famer, Drew Brees on a Saints Lunar Mini. Going to James. James, nice hit. Drew Brees. Drew Brees. It's a headliner, right? It is a headliner. Any idea where a marker went? No clue. Thirty-seven to fifty. You're welcome. All right, we got a PSA COA. Very, very, very nice way to start the night. Got ourselves. Oh, nice little hit right here. A Kansas City Chief Lunar Mini. We have Dante Hall. Go to Nestor. Nestor, nice hit. Should be able, shouldn't you be able to go into your account and change that? I'm pretty sure you can go into your own account and change it. Uh, my guess is there sh you should be able to go to your account and change it. Now, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that, that's the way you should be able to do it. If that's not the way to do it, maybe email Dave at customer service at ultimateautographs.com. Maybe Dave give, can do it from his. Or just give him a call, Dusty. Yeah. Well, I mean, he said he talked to David yesterday, so. 
or maybe operations. I don't know. Just keep calling him. Just keep he call calling it. Call him right now. Don't call him right now, please. Well, you can if you want. You're his friend. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I guess it's good. Just don't tell him we we told you to call you. That we told you to call him. Uh, Dusty, I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure. Alright, that's fine. I'll talk to him tomorrow, I guess. He's like, why'd you tell Dusty to call me? I was like, Dusty had a really important question. Seven. Alright. We got hard hit number one, a single box break. Let's get a box number in the chat, please. Talk to a friend. There you go, yeah. Alright, let's switch up here. Movement, I think it's a zip code issue. Gotcha. No problem, Dusty. You keep us in the you keep us in the loop and let us know if you're able to do it or not. Eight. of 60. Oh my god. Just broke PJ's. Oh my god. So so I received from Brussels they always help. Wonderful. All right, here we go. We got ourselves a Oh, this is nice. This is a DeAndre Swift Georgia jersey. Wow. DeAndre Swift is the running back for the Detroit Lions. This is a cool little hit right here. This is very cool. DeAndre Swift going to the NFC North in Buster. Buster Ross. Buster, nice hit. Congratulations, Buster. That's cool. Got a solid rookie year last year. He's probably going to be the featured back next year, right? Shouldn't Didn't he drop that pass against the Ferris? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Sheesh. Sorry, right. it was week one of his NFL career. I think he'll be. I think he did all right. Yeah. Doesn't skip around the room with when the socks score. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I already did that. Yeah. Already did that. I literally already did that. He, Gavin Sheets hit a bomb last night to win the game. Yeah, I mean, it was exciting. Was that was I not supposed to do that? I don't know. Maybe you don't pitch him a fastball. All right. Yeah, Dusty. That's the first. That's the first time he threw him a fastball all game. Sounds like a mistake to me. Dusty, let, let, let me know. Are, do you think they're going to move Cruz and, and Donaldson before the trade deadline? I'm getting blamed. I'm not, I'm not blaming you. I'm blaming your pitcher of the team that you like. And then you're angry that I got excited. Not angry. Upset. Angry is a strong word. It's funny. Oh, Matt was blaming you. Oh, shoot. That's going to have to be a conversation with you then. Sorry, Dusty. <laughs> All right, let's get a box number in the chat for diamond number one. Single box break. Are you a little testy when it comes to uh, sports <laughs> and Minnesota teams especially? Wrong place, went wrong time, Dusty. Wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> All right. Slow going right here. It's... Oh, what the hell? Foul? No foul? All right. All right, we've got uh, 27, 29, 32, 34 for Diamond Series.
Dodgers need more pitching? Relief pitching? Or starting pitching? Well, he says they're going to go get Barrios and Keta Maeda. Oh. For both starters. Those are both starters. Could actually see them going to the Yankees. Who's going to get Tommy Pickles? We got 34. 34. Walter Payton. Mm -hmm. All right, 34 of 60. This is heat. Back at COA. Fire. We got ourselves a headliner hit. We got prime time on a speed flex lunar. Full size authentic Deion Sanders. Nice. That is gorgeous. Look at that. That is super dope. That's going to Chris Hannon. Christopher Hannon, nice hit. Love to see it. Did you read the story today? I did not read that story today. Bob, what happened? I, mean, I know he's a Jackson State head coach. Super sick. Full size speed flex. Fire. Fire. Uh. What? <laughs> ah, I love him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Coach Lyon. Put some respect on my name. That's what Dion just said. Coach he already, Prime. He already has respect on his name. No. Not enough, obviously. So we're going to call him Dion when he's a coach? Audacity. That's what I think. Yeah, and instead of prime time, a Bob will be any time. <laughs> start, start citing that your inscription there, Bob. Anytime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quad time? Ooh, that's not bad. I think that's that's reserved that, for the that primes. That might be yeah, I agree. That might be a that might be like that that's Nick's name. It's like quad time and quad trina. Yes. I'll just call you coach. No, not me, coach. Not me, coach. 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 Coach Slime. Coach Bob. Coach Bab. Coach Slime. Yeah. Again, I really hope Nick has big quads. You say that every single time we're on air. <laughs> we get it. You want to see his quads. I hope he does, for her sake. You want to see his quads. We get it, dude. It's okay, man. It's 2021, bro. No, dude, it's fine. If you want to see his quads, just ask nicely. How's that supposed to go down? What do you mean? How am I supposed to see his quads? I don't know, man. Figure <laughs> it out. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's just kind of like a hope more than anything. Uh, so we we did, after the break, watch ESPN commercials, and Matt did watch the Crocodile Hunter, so we got both the things accomplished. Yes. And we were watching a little bit uh, while we were eating dinner. Though. He's breaking me on. He's breaking me on. Ready this Saturday? Hand out the money and pick the draft order for this year. Our 36th Fanny's Football Year. 
Were you one of the original OGs? That's incredible. Brady's still years. alive. Brady is still alive. He's still alive, indeed. Still living, still kicking. Still living, still kicking. He's breaking me on. I think I smell personal too. You? Yeah, absolutely. I was the OG uh, fantasy football. Hell yeah. 36 years, that's got to be pretty close to the beginning. I mean, they did it when it was like books and no, no, obviously no like. How long, is, how long has fantasy football been a thing? Probably since like, I'd say like 40 years maybe. Like they are like. So like 1980? Probably. With the miss, Mrs. Boss. All right, Luigi, let us know. Ho, ho. Only TDs count the points in favor. What a time to be alive. It's probably Look pretty how, exciting. Look how easy it is now. I don't even have to do anything. You don't I just do set my, anything. I just remember to set my lineup and pick my waiver claims. And adjust my lineup and put in a new quarterback when he's on a bye. To pick 200 and some players and you can write every single name out. That's rough. And then remember, like, I'm sure they had, like, a board... But, like, you know, you have to remember, like, well, he took Joe Montana, so I can't take Joe Montana. Obviously, Joe Montana probably would have gone, like, early-ish, probably, my guess. Oh, what was the strategy back in the day? The waiver we wizard? What did you call yourself? The wazer waiver wizard? I mean, I, I don't think I gave myself a formal title. I would say I'm pretty good at waiver wire, wire claims. Like Garrett is pretty good. I would say I'm pretty dang good with waiver wire claims. I've played Garrett like I think two or three years now. Yeah. And I don't think I've honestly beaten Garrett once in fantasy football. I I think close this year, but no. He has, he like I'll have, I'll crush like two people in a row. Yeah. And then I'll play Garrett and he'll beat me like five. I got points. I gotta humble you up a little bit, man. I gotta humble you up. I thought you said that in a stream with Dave once. Is it hundred percent possible I did? I don't remember that. Uh I love fantasy football. He'll get a big week out of, like, Sammy Watkins or something. Dude, flex position, man. I'm terrible. <laughs> no, it's just you got to figure out, like, matchups. And, I'm, you know, I won't even tell you. I won't even tell you. I, it's too late. I told everybody now. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I, I think I've honestly played with you two, uh, two for sure, maybe three, three years. Three years, yeah. And I've never beaten you once. <laughs> Not once. Uh... I won three of the first four seasons that didn't win again for 18 years. Woo! And the drought there. Like the real season, my heart was really out of it. I agree. I feel that. I feel that. I think, at least for me, I think fantasy football kept me in the NFL season. Like, kept me involved. Because that's, like, the biggest way that I, like, am in tune with, like, all of the NFL. It's by having a fantasy team. Because, you know, I'm, like, watching whatever, the 3 o'clock game, and then they, they cut to, I don't know, whoever. DeAndre Hopkins scoring a touchdown, and you're like, oh, dude, I have him on my fantasy, and that's six, and then you do the math in your head, you're like, holy shit, that's uh, 15 points right there. Yeah. Yeah. Or you're, like, going against somebody on, like, Monday Night Football. Yeah, right. You're like, going against, like, Alvin Kamara, and you're only up by, like, 15 points. Oh, uh, yeah. Fantasy keeps you in it. Yep. And you're like, hopefully, you're like, tackle him, get him, yeah. get him. Please don't stop it. Okay, ooh, it's only six yards. All right, so that's point six right there. Yeah. You're only up by like 18 points. Yeah. Like sweating out every single. It's exciting stuff. So for us, my team. I didn't even get into anybody. I don't think I had any Bears players on any of my team. Actually, that's maybe not be true. I think I had Bears defense on one of my fantasy teams. You are a quality fantasy player, though. That's correct. Oh, wow, I appreciate. I really appreciate that. That is. Actually... You draft well too. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really hyping you out here, pal. You are, and I'm a little scared that you. I did this. <laughs> uh, it's really fun. I love fantasy football. I just want to beat you once. That's all. Huh? I just want to beat you once. I, I'm maybe this year. 
I don't think it. I mean, it's almost time to start sending out the. I know one of my leaks has already been renewed, so. One of my leagues got renewed in like June. I got an email saying, Your league has been re upped. I'm like, Okay. <laughs> Most career interceptions thrown. Brett Favre. Pretty sure it's Mr. Favre. Favre. Mr. Favre. He's more Favre. It's pretty crazy. He took pride in that, I think, too. Yeah. Can you name number two? Oh, my. Oh, God. I'm going to go with Joe Namath. Joe Namath has a lot of interceptions. Do you think he played long enough? I don't know if he played long enough. I'm just gonna, I'm, sp I'm spitballing right here. I'm just throwing it out of there. Who else? Who's who? Eli Manning. Like Tom Brady. Maybe Eli. There you go. Maybe like Eli. That's a tray for Bobby Portis. Bulls legend. Eli Manning played for a long time. He did. Nails was close with 222. 220. Eli? So he's number three? Nameth is th number three? I'll take that. I'll take that as a small victory. I'll be forced with the tray ball. Bang, bang. What's the score? Uh, I want to say it's like 2015 <laughs> middle of the second the first quarter nice. Nabith isn't number three but he's up there gotcha okay I see what you're saying I see what you're saying Eli has 244 Eli woohoo there you go Matt is he number three is Eli number three or is Eli number two alright what does Mr. Favre have oh he didn't he didn't put it in the chat Favre's got like 500. Let's look it up. Brett Favre has 336 interceptions. 508 touchdowns, 336 interceptions. Including one year he had 29 interceptions, one year he had 24 interceptions in a season, 22... That's my guy. One thing I'll say about Eli, man, is he, he always went out there. He had the longest streak, right, for for a while there after Favre retired. Well, consecutive games played. Who did? Consecutive stars, Eli. Eli? I think so, yeah. Until that, until, until like 2018, 2019, right. where he got injured? Yep. Or our Daniel Jones started? Mm-hmm. Like 180 or something like that. It's crazy. I'm trying to think who else had a lot of picks. Not injured. Gotcha. Good for the Raiders, Oilers, Bears, Colts. Also was a kicker in... Oh, Doug Flutie? No, 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 no. Harbaugh? No. Was a kicker in... In what? I have no idea. George Blanda? Wow, is that right? George Blanda, wow. Would not have gotten that one. That would have taken me that would take me quite some time to get that one. Good job, Bob. Good job, Bob. Good job, coach. Hey, Mr. Beach. Hey, Mr. Beach. Um Who's number three? Do you have it up? Who's number three? Yeah. No. no. I thought you were looking at that. No. I'm going to... Uh, you want to lower the Dutch? I would love to lower the Dutch. If you wouldn't mind. I'd appreciate Dutch it. Dutch auction has been lowered to... Do like 160. 160. John Haddell. I have no idea who that is. I'm the coach. Co uh, Dicka is the coach. The yeah. coach. The ah, Bears. The ah, Bears. I don't know who that is either. Hadel. 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 
But he shows his four Frank target is number four as well. Number five. It was a charge QB for Fouts. Okay. Right, it's probably 100% one reason I don't know who the heck he is. He's 81 years old. Still kicking? Still just hanging out in life? Yep. I think he's retired. Played ping pong? Shuffleboard. Bags? He's a Kansas guy, so maybe he's... Maybe he's uh, corn husking. Corn husking. He's corn husking, maybe, yeah. Well, that's not, that's not Nebraska, but... Marjong. Yeah, there you go. Maybe some solitaire. Some backgammon. Mm -hmm. Maybe some chess checkers. Chinese checkers? Maybe he's a really good... Maybe he's like a life guy. Or like uh, like Clue. Maybe he's like a Clue guy. Maybe he's just trying to keep the brain sharp. He kind trying of to figure out if his Mr. Colonel Mustard in the in the book... In the, uh, in the uh, library with the candlestick. You know, maybe that's the answer. <laughs> yeah. And it's Norm Sneed, Johnny Unitas, Dan Marino, Peyton Manning, and Y8 Hittletal. Or eight, I like we gotta call him title. To round out the top ten. Beautiful Dusty. Thank you for that. He honestly kinda looks like Goober from uh you ever seen Andy Griffith show? Bob would know. He kinda looks like Goober from uh Who the heck is Goober? Andy Griffith show. Conservatory favorite room in clue. Oh man. Conservatory is solid. Conservatory is solid. I don't um, know the garden? Is it the garden one? I don't know if the, I think the conservatory or is like the garden, it's like okay. the greenhouse. Uh, I, I mean, I like the dining room. I always, I always like it, like uh, the ballroom. Yeah, like uh, Professor uh, Plum in the ballroom with the uh, with the rope. You know, with the I, I think the candlestick is the best weapon. I always like that. I always like that. Billiards room, yeah, that's good. Billiards room is good. Uh, Mackenzie, that's exactly right. Yeah, if that triple mixer doesn't fill up tonight, it'll just be on there until it fills up. Um, yes. I think it's got to be the candlestick. Fair one, candlestick, wrench, wrench is solid. I, I think the candlestick is my favorite. I feel like the candlestick is a popular one. Yeah, revol like the clue really should have gone with like some really obscure, like, like, uh, like maybe like a nice, uh, like a tripod, <laughs> like a crossbow or something. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like. Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, revolver's such a cliche pick. Yeah, ice pick. Do they have an ice pick? That's kind of scary. That's a, that is a little scary. That's one of those weapons that could like melt after you've been killed. And then there's no weapon. Yeah. Scary, scary stuff. Mob style AR-15. All right. That'd be, that would be like that's like instead of clue, it's just like mobster is the new name yeah. of the game. And it's just like it's like waterboarding, <laughs> like like Colonel mustard, Colonel mustard in the kitchen with, with an AR fifteen. <laughs> I don't know if we should be talking about this. How many total yards did Jerry Rice finish his career with? Fifteen thousand eight hundred and fifty-eight. You know it's weird. I was gonna say fifteen thousand as well. Right here, man. Right here. Right here. Right. Like how close do we have to get? That's what I guess. Fifteen thousand five hundred eighty-five. Or. 18,000. Too low, fellas. 18K. 20,000? 21,000. We see this football all the time. How do we not know this? I don't know. 23,000. White Sox up 4 2. Not what I want. And there. Milwaukee's up. Oh, it's first and third, nobody out. Milwaukee's up. One out. 20. 20. 23 million and 5. 22,000. <laughs> Milwaukee's up 29-16 after the first quarter. Nice. It's 23 million and five. <laughs> Close. I think those Raider years really got to him. His Seattle years might have got to him a little bit. Who is currently number two? Holy cow. Who's got... I think Fitzgerald's like three. I, yeah, I think Fitzgerald's three, so let's go like... I'm going to go Randy. I feel like I know this. I feel like it's... I'm going to go Randy, but I think Fitzgerald might be three. I'm pretty sure there is three. Or is it possible Fitzgerald's two? He might be two. He's definitely in the top three for sure. Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison, good. that's a good one. Yeah, I think that might he's up there too. I don't know. I don't know 
know, maybe Randy, I don't know if Randy had enough, like, success for you. Give you guys a break, because I love the Randy pick, but Larry Fitzgerald, way to go, Matt. Second place is Ray, Larry Fitzgerald. Oh, my God. Wow. Larry, wow, Larry's at only 17,000? Larry would have to play five more years at least and get at least a thousand yards. It's possible. You think Larry would fi play five more I years? Get, I think he can get to twenty. I think maybe that's his goal. I don't know. I, I love Larry Fisher. What, how old is Larry Fisher? Thirty-seven. That's, that's true, Bob. He's seventeen games now. He's thirty-seven. To third? Is that right? How, how? That's crazy. How is T.O. number three? That doesn't feel right. That doesn't seem right at all. That doesn't feel right like in... I mean, he was a great receiver, but I don't. I can't believe he was number... I can't believe he's number three. That seems almost insane. Do you have, like, a record that you know of that you don't think ever will ever be broken? Like I know off the top of my head. Yeah. Dude, I don't. I think saw I saw an ESPN article like a month ago about it, like the records that will never ever be broken. Yeah. Do you have one of you? I have. No, I can't even think of one off the top of my head. I don't know. To be honest, the rushing record will probably never get broken. Which one? The like the eight the eighteen thousand at Emmett. Okay. I don't. I don't see any running backs doing that like crazy numbers. Right now, the only person obviously who's close is Frank Gore, but Frank Gore's in third place right now, and he's behind by Walter, right? Almost he's three. Seven, he's seven hundred behind Walter. I know yes, that. and then another like three thousand behind. Yep, these are all good ones. Cy Young fire wins Dimaggio fifty game fifty six game hit streak. Tim Anderson is 40 games away. <laughs> well, he's got a hit tonight. Then he's uh, 39 games away. 56 game hit streak. That's amazing. That's incredible. That is incredible. But the 511 wins, that's insane. No one's ever, ever going to get close to that. Yeah. Especially this day and age. Wait, when did, when did Randy retire? Randy who? Randy Moss. I don't remember. For some reason, I can't remember when he retired. All the time I had, I can't remember when he retired. 2011? Oh, yeah. He retired at 33. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's right. He retired at 33. Oh, sorry. He retired at 35. He wasn't that young. I know, but I mean. Fair enough, I guess. 35 for a receiver is pretty. Yeah. Dang, Jim Brown. Yeah, same with, like, Barry. Like, Barry would be up there if he hadn't been retired at 30. Calvin Johnson would probably, to be honest, Calvin Johnson would probably on pace to compete with Jerry Rice's record. Why Why did all the Lions retire early? Because I, I, what I understand is they were going to get, they were going to get traded. I think that's one thing that Calvin Johnson, Calvin Johnson, I think, was going to get traded. I know one reason that Rob Gronkowski, uh, Got retired so early because he was going to get traded to Detroit. So he retired. He said, I'm not going to get traded to Detroit. That's right. I remember that. Then he retired, and then Tommy said to Tampa. Yeah. Who finished their career with mo more picks? Deion Sanders, Ed Reed. Ed Reed. I'm going to go Ed Reed. I played this game before, Dusty. And if I'm wrong, that's okay. Did Brady just get pulled? I missed it. No, Tom Brady did not get pulled. We have not pulled TB12 yet in the diamond. This crew with 64 total interceptions again was fairly close with 53. But Brown was going to make movies. Also, remember this. His rhyme with the hand grenades and the dirty dozen. Yeah. I remember that. I've seen that movie. I don't remember that like I was living, but I 
right, right. remember learning of that. Have you seen the movie? It's like the 11th round of the draft. Which team picked him? I want to say it was Washington. No, San Diego. A.K.A. the Chargers. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my Chargers. I'm going with my gut. On teams he played for. <laughs> so that's a no. That's a no. All right, but not the team that drafted him. The hell drafted Terry Crews? Team Old Spice. <laughs> Who drafted Terry Crews? Um, New York team. Jets. Uh, Jets. Giants. Ravens. Steelers. Browns. Bengals. Bears. Lions. Packers. Vikings. Houston Texans. No, 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 no. They weren't even existing. No. 1991. Heavenly message being checked by mods. Well, that's odd. Do we have mods? I didn't know we had mods. Interesting. Well, I hope you don't get blocked, Dusty. However, will I figure out what the answer is? The auto mod. Oh. oh, like through Twitch. The Twitch mods. Hmm. Odd. Pretty rude if you ask me. Naughty language, language damn it. <laughs> I was going to get blocked. It is Rams. Sorry. It's okay. So sometimes you don't know the answer to things. I was super confident, but I just knew what teams he played for, not who drafted him. <laughs> which is which in my uh, in which you know, is a win in my in its own right. Now Dusty didn't swear or anything. Maybe they thought you said Gare and Gare was something. I don't know. Something else. Man, look at all those people. My golly. Oh no. You said cruise, that's a problem. Let me try this. Uh oh. Jose Brady was a triple and a double. Jose Brady was a triple and a double? Mm -hmm. Nice. Terry Gross was like the 281st overall by the LA Rams in 91. He went to the play. Uh, the Rams senior turn. Oh, wait, wait, did you say. issue. Gone to become one of the biggest actors in Hollywood. No. You guys might be going to Falco's early tonight. Yeah. Yep. Which, fair enough. I got a pint of ice cream that I'm waiting for me. <laughs> you son of a gun. What flavor? <laughs> Cookie dough. Oh! Oh! I so can't like believe you. The big chunks. Uh, who finished their career with more regular season MVP awards? Brett Favre, Joe Montana. Who finished? Oh, gosh. How many times do you think Brett won? Three times. Really? I would say Montana. Wow, uh, even. I'll go, I'll go Favre. Wait, the answer is both? The same. Neither. I don't know what the answer is. I just guess all the answers. The answer is yes. Yeah. The answer is as whoever who the answer is whoever has the most regular season MVPs. Whatever buys the other in mind. I already have a mind. So you said Joe Montana? Yeah. Then I get I automatically get Brett Favre then. Wait, what's what's in it for me then? Yeah! <laughs> I did not agree to this. <laughs> <laughs> we never shook on it. Uh, well, I was right on his three MVPs. I'll take that. How did How did Joe Montana only have two? 
MVP. See, I don't know. I think who it's won right. MVP during those years. I don't know. That seems crazy. It is. Uh, oh, I guess maybe yeah. Did Jerry Rice win a bunch of MVPs? How many Super Bowls did Jerry Sanders play in during his career? Zero. The answer would be zero. Now it seems like too easy of a question, but I know the answer is zero. As a result, he is often ranked as the greatest player to never play in a Super Bowl. That's correct. That is correct. Does anyone want this Kellen Winslow helmet? Yeah. If you're interested in the Kellen Winslow, let us know. It's at 160 right now. Feel free to uh, uh, throw a number at us. I know Johnny Lang is a West Coast guy. He's a Niners fan, though. Yeah. Like number two overall, which quarter was selected out of him? Uh, G uh, uh, George. Jeff George. Is that right? No, Couch. God dang it. Hi, hi, hi. All my head, all the, all the bad quarterbacks in my head just like. Phew. Jeff George was too old. Yeah, that's right. Jeff George was drafted way, 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 way. He was pre Peyton Manning. Um, Tim Couch. Last that. call if you'd like to buy our uh, the Kellen Winslow. Let us know on a price if you're interested in it. Eli or Peyton? Uh, they won the same. The same. They both won two. Nice, Bob. They both won two. I want to say it's Denver, but the answer also is probably Seattle. Gary, you definitely need to go get some ice cream after this. I might have to now. <laughs> I think I've earned it. I'm going to Oprah Weiss. Oh. I might go get a milkshake. Right, It's right across the street from my house. It's e It should be illegal. Really? It should be illegal. Nice. Yeah, have you ever had their milk there? Yeah, it's delicious. Oh, with the glass? Yeah. The chocolate Have milk? you had their lemonade? No. Lemonade's good, which really? is kind of surprising from a place that's like a creamery. Mm, interesting. Their chocolate milk, though? Oh, <laughs> don't even get me started, dude. <laughs> uh, what did the first Mad Game hang out? It was, wait, uh, what year did the first Madden game come out? Oh, uh, I know this. There's an article about this in the ESPN. 90? Uh, 89? Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to go with my gut, 91. I'm going to say 87. How'd you get that one right? Wow! Was that is that right? That's then? incredible. Oh, 88. Disc operating system, I'll tell ya. Nice. So All right, last call here. If you like to help us fill up any more breaks, team Vince Lombardi coached. Did he coach like arena or like no, not arena? Uh, you coach in Canada? At all? No, I think he. Uh, uh, let's go with the. Uh, let's go with the Akron Pros. Akron Pros, Canton Bulldogs are my two guesses. Is that what league is that? That was pre that was NFL. 
coached the Giants with Landry as assistant. Well, Bob knows the freaking answers to this. Oh boy, Bob. Bobby, well, like crazy a head coach, though, wasn't he? Wasn't he assistant coach? I guess I'm definitely not sure what the answer is. None are right so far. Bob was wrong. He wasn't a Giants head coach. Oh, okay. Oh, it's four to three now. It's what? It's four to three now. Yes. Donaldson hit a bomb. I have no idea. I want to go Packers, though. Yeah, as I say, we just go with Packers. Current, current NFC East is correct. So it's not Giants? It is Giants, then? I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Eagles then. Johnny? You want to lower the dash? Yeah. Or whatever. I don't know why I did that. What'd you do? I exited out of the products accidentally. Oh, no. All right, last call here. If you'd like to help us fill up any more boxes, Matt's going to lower the dash one more time. I'm lowering it to 135. Go. Uh, yeah, Dusty, we're going to hang out here for just a little bit longer. Uh, give us a few more. Uh, we appreciate you for giving us some uh, trivia questions. Really uh, keeps us engaged. We have not had an order in 40 minutes. Yeah. So. Be, in, be in the break for another two weeks to see the Panini break. <laughs> that is a very legitimate possibility, Dusty. Yeah. I, yes. I hate to be the bearer of bad news there. Elected first overall in 2000. Who? Oh my god. 2008? Number two overall. Oh man. Matt Ryan. Yeah, Bob, you were the last to buy into the breaks. Three then. Matt Ryan is number three. So Jake Long knew this guy pretty well. Was it? No way. No way. I'm gonna look somebody up. Wow. Okay. I looked it up, and I'm shocked. I didn't know he was picked number two overall. Can I just guess? I even know I know the answer. Sure. Chris Long. Chris Long? Chris Long. Long. Uh, just Dusty, just so you don't know, they were not, they were not siblings. Not really. There it is. Roger Cromartie, Deshaun Jackson, Jamal Charles. Wow, I did not know he was drafting number two overall. I just started listening to his new his podcast. Very good. Exactly. That's Kyle's but that, brother. I thought right. maybe they were. No worries. That's Kyle's brother, right? Chris Chris Long is uh is uh related to former Bear Great Kyle Long, who's now a chief but was injured. Who are all the Howie kids? So I wanna say it's Howie Jr., Chris and Kyle. Chris Kyle? 
Chris and Kyle. And I want to say there's a Howie Jr. Chris Kyle from uh, American Sniper? Sure. Jake Long went to Michigan, so I thought he was going to say, I thought it was a Michigan player. Kyle, not Jake. My bad, but still. Hey, no worries. No worries, Dusty. All righty. Y'all, I think that's going to do it for us this evening. Oh, wait, wait. Who was known as the mailman? Carl, Carl Malone. Malone. Aye, aye, aye. Because he always delivered. Except on Sundays, though. Mm. Or in the finals. Sheesh. I hope there's no jazz fans in the chat. Say you're doing a dirty there. Yeah. Why? Well, come on. Does it live on Sundays? There it is. They see. You and Dusty are on the same page. That's Chick fil A. True. Rattled. <laughs> <laughs> That's Chick fil A. My pleasure. Thanks for uh, coming. Uh, I think it's time for some uh, ice cream. Suns are up 35 33. Four minutes left. Huh? Oh. All right, y'all. I think that's going to do it for us this evening. Really appreciate everybody for joining us. Dusty, thank you so much for uh, the trivia questions. Really, really awesome. Uh, I appreciate them a lot. I like to figure out what I, I know and what I don't know. Bob, thank you, everybody else. Really appreciate you all for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow at noon with Donnie and Dave. Uh, until then, have a great rest of your evening. Um, enjoy the NBA Finals if you're going to watch that or if you're going to do anything else uh, with the rest of your night. Uh, again, we'll see you tomorrow at noon. Uh, myself and Chris will be in at 8 o'clock. Uh, until then, have a great night. Peace out. Peace.